What's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis, once again, giving you the information that you asked me for. Make sure you go to the ChazEllisProject.com, get access to the free live stream called 10 Steps to Keeping Your New Year's Resolution. Um, it's going to be free, um, but if you do want to buy a donation ticket, the money is going to go to the homeless, so make sure you go ahead and do that. It's going to a good cause. Um, anyway... The question that I got this time was, what do I think about the whole I can do bad by myself philosophy? Now, just in case you don't know what that means, a lot of women have a saying called, I can do, ebonically speaking, I can do bad by myself. Now, what that basically means is, I don't need you to have tough times. I can do that by my damn self. I can be struggling by myself. Pretty simple, pretty obvious. Um, now, a lot of guys get upset by this because they're like, I can do bad by myself. What does that even mean? You know, what are you trying to say? Oh, you don't want to be with me if I'm doing bad Do you? because you can do bad by yourself? A lot of guys think that that's a gold digger mentality. For me personally, you asked me what I thought about it. I get it. It makes perfect sense. Um, why would you want to be, because let me just break this down for most guys. Most women in the world, and I honestly do talk to women all over the world. Um, somebody said something on a comment one time about, they were like, well, that must be true for American women. I think you're focused on, I talk to women all over the freaking world. <laughs> like, uh, probably more, than, I, talk, I probably talk to more people in your country than you do. Because, <laughs> you know, like, let's be real, the average person doesn't talk, doesn't have a serious conversation with more than five people in the day. You know, you probably don't even have more than five friends. I know, I don't. Like, people that are my close friends that I would talk to about their, you know, but, you know, doing what I do, I talk to a lot of people. Anyway, so this is pretty much across the board that I've noticed. Most women do not want to be with somebody who can't be happy with somebody when they feel like they can honestly be doing better or just the same by themselves. Basically meaning, if I'm with you, and my situation would be better if you weren't here, a woman just can't really be happy in that situation. And if they're like, if my situation could be exactly the same, they wouldn't be happy in that situation. They're like, what do I need you for? So what that does often is it causes women not to be happy when they're in a situation with a guy who's broke and they have a little bit of money, or even if they don't. Because like I said, if they could do the same without him, they probably don't want him. So what often happens, and this is the only problem I really see with the I can do bad by myself philosophy, is it often stops women from getting guys who are on the way up. Because their thought process is, I can do bad by myself, you're broke, you're struggling, you're not helping my situation in a 360 degree way. You're not helping me financially, you're not helping me uh, spiritually, mentally, you may be helping me in, in those ways, but the financial thing, you're not making it any better. I'm broke while I'm with you. I ain't going. That's how most women think. Now, here's the biggest problem with that, and this is what I was talking about getting guys on the way up. This is why this is so important. Because men have a philosophy too, and it's not one that people talk about very often. Ebonically speaking, it's, I can do good by myself. That is the male philosophy that people don't talk about. This is almost 100% across the board. Men think, I can do good by my damn self. This means if I'm already doing well, if I'm already financially stable, if I'm already where I want to be, that means that I can have this party and have sex with all these women. Why the hell do I need to be with you? What you're bringing to the table isn't really helping my situation. If you come into the situation, you got a good job, you got a nice car, you got a nice house, all this stuff. How, why do I care? I already have those things. I don't need yours. See, for women, the I can do bad by myself philosophy means even if I'm doing well, if I have money, a car, nice stuff like that, I, what do I need you for if you're not bringing those same things to the table? It sound familiar for most women, right? What do I need you for? What a man wants 99 times out of 100 is he wants a woman who can, when he's already there, he's already financially stable, he already has everything he needs and wants, he wants a woman who can basically order her life around him. That's what he's generally looking for. 
they were, that's why you don't see men really caring too much about a girl having money. You, you see a lot of rich guys dating broke chicks all the time. Because unfortunately, and I said this in another video before too, when you don't care about the about what the thing produces, you don't care about the thing. What I mean is, if you're making, say you're working, you're trying to be partner at your law for, firm, and you're going to make three or four hundred thousand dollars a year. You're with a dude who's making three or four hundred thousand dollars a year already. And you're like, I got to work these 70 hours a week because I need to make sure I make partner in my law firm. And the dude is like, I really don't, I really don't care. I don't, it's not, I mean, yeah, I'm happy for you, I guess. But this isn't, I'm not invested. I have other things that I want you to do here at home. And when, if you can't do those things, I want someone who can. A lot of women get mad and bent out of shape. But you have to understand, you have the I can do bad by myself philosophy. He has the I can do good by myself philosophy. He doesn't care what you're providing because he doesn't want those things. He's got, it's not changing his lifestyle. For most women, it changes their lifestyle. A lot of guys deal with a girl who doesn't have as much money as them. And it doesn't bother them because she's ordering her life around them. This is why a lot of women have trouble competing. A lot of women who are, um, they get their degrees, they get money and all that kind of stuff. They're like, man, why can't I find a dude that's willing to wife me up? Well, a lot of times it's your time. You don't have the time to invest in order your life around somebody who's already made it. And you're not willing to date somebody who's on the way up or who's not there, who needs you and would need you to help them make it. You're not even willing to invest in that person. So what often happens is you're not valuable to a person who's already there because the things that you provide, don't they don't have any value in. So when the time you're taking to provide those things is taken away from their bottom line, what they need and want. They want dinner on the table. They want a blowjob. They want a back rub. They want the house cleaned. You're providing money. They're like, I don't want that. I don't need that. I don't want that. So I don't need what you provide. So it's not valuable to me. This is where the I can do bad by myself philosophy hurts a lot of women with me. Because, like I said before, if you're somebody who's on the way up, if financially, if you're doing well and you're keeping you're on the way up, you're often going to what they say, price yourself out of the market. You're gonna get, you're gonna do so well. That you're not going to be able to attract a guy who's also parallel to you because your time is going to be taken to keep doing well and he wants somebody who can order their life around him. If you look at most people who are married to somebody in the NBA, nine times out of ten, somebody doesn't have a job. No offense to anybody who's married to somebody in the NBA, but that's just the way it is. Nine times out of ten is somebody who doesn't have a real job. You know, they got, like, this is my charity foundation that I'm really not running. They don't have a real job. Their job is to order their life around him and what he's doing. And that's fine with, with them because they want the things that he has, that, that his time brings. For instance, okay, I'll give you for instance. If you're dating somebody that's in the NBA, that means that they're gone about half of the year doing something, whether it's playing games, endorsements, stuff like that. They're gone about half, almost probably more like 70% of the year that they're gone doing something. Now, people generally wouldn't take that, but people want the lifestyle that that provides, so they've made that sacrifice. They're not going to see their husband as much because they want the lifestyle that that NBA check provides, um, and they could not create that lifestyle for themselves. Now, if you're trying to be a partner at a law firm where you're trying to run your own business and you got a guy who already has money in his pocket, he doesn't really need what your life, what your job is going to provide. He's already living that lifestyle. Whether you make partner or not, he's still going to drive the same car. He's still going to live in the same house. This is where the I can do bad by myself philosophy prices you out of the market. Because what it does is it only connects you to people who don't need you. Now, if you were to say, I'm doing really, really well, I'm going to date somebody who's not doing so well, then you'd be like a guy. Basically, you'd be able to... They'd be like, oh, man, my baby is at work all the time. But look at the lifestyle that's provided. Most women do not want that type of person. And that is where the I can do bad by myself light thought process 
really makes it difficult for women to find a man because oftentimes they are bringing something to the table that a man does not value. And they do not have the things that the highest level guy values, which is time. Ability to order their life around his schedule. Hopefully I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man Chaz Ellis. Make sure you go to the ChazOllisProject.com. Get connected to the live stream. Also, you can get a consultation. Peace. Oh yeah, like and subscribe. Share this video with somebody else.